this prediction that's right up here. Or just yell at Larry Brooks like every other New York Ranger. One reason why we're doing the puck giveaway today and why we've been growing is because we've... I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, we've been uh, doing this uh, for the three of us since March. Uh, me and John since January. And I've been doing this since last October uh, when I started just writing some articles and then figuring, ah, maybe I'll just write some videos. Um, but instead, what this is what this is now grown into and what it is continuing to grow into is uh, a program I enjoy doing every single week. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be um, a lot more than just maybe once a week or whatever I could do, because this really is uh, fantastic. Every single week I look forward to when we start streaming. And uh, even though we still have about, um, probably about a couple hours of Q&A coming up, and it's I, I if you asked me last year if I'd be sitting here talking to Marty Biron today, uh, I I didn't I wouldn't have thought that. Hell, especially last year. I don't I don't even know if we were even gonna make it through 2020. Fortunately we did. Yay. Um, but you know what? That's what this is. And when we start doing bar meetups, uh, we start doing uh games, um that's that's only going to make it better, and this entire thing is going to get better. It's continuing to grow. Uh, there is a name change that is on the horizon. The only reason why is because of Mr. Anthony Larocco down there, who has <laughs> round out this program so much. But um, I thought about saving this for last week, but you know what we're doing for next week? I mean, we're doing the giveaway. We're going to do a year in review next week. I'm going to have highlights of what this year has been. But again, the whole reason... I, I got to say that I've been doing this. I love talking hockey. I love talking the Rangers, especially. Um, I actually can't believe how well I've liked talking about the Islanders. Although I've felt like I've meet at the bar for a couple times, especially. <laughs> the <laughs> um, and, and look, you know what? I, I understand when I have a, an opinion that people got to shout me down on the internet, but you know what? That's what, that's what's made this fantastic. That's, um, and, and you know what, that's why we're doing this. That's why I'm continuing to invest in this. That's why I'm continuing just to do everything. And this is, this has been fantastic. So, uh, now I'm going to open up the floor to everybody. And again, I, I cannot say enough, uh, for this. And this is all because of you guys. Um, I, I definitely would like to start off by saying thank you as well to everybody. Um, like we did with the draft night and the Reeves night. I mean, you've seen how long I can talk hockey with you guys for. I, I love doing this. I really do. Um, for me, and Anthony can say the same thing. It started three years ago, and we were offered an opportunity to come on a uh, internet radio sports show, and we were offered guest spots as kind of hockey guys just for a segment, and they liked us, and they wanted to bring us back. And we ended up having our own show out of it. And I will say it was pretty awesome seeing your reaction, not only in the text, but on here to Marty Beer on coming on, because that was like it was for me. And I would imagine Anthony as well. The first time that we got to interview any of the big names we got interviewed, I think Mike Lang was Mike Lang our first one, Anthony. Brian Compton. No, 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 no. I know on our show, but on the, on the, the, the Ashley Sarge one, was it, was it Brian oh. Lang was it? I think was our first one. Yeah, honestly, I'm not. I'm not sure, but I think you might be right. I'm. I'm not positive though. Yeah, I, I, I'm not positive either. Who was our, our first guest that we got to interview on uh, Sarge's show? But um, this started for us three years ago, and I, I mean, Mark has already treated us better than we were treated previously where we were. Um, I'm not going to ruin anything. I think Mark may have spoken to you about it, but. Something's in store for you, Anthony. You're gonna like it. Um, yeah, we've we we work with a good group of people with the three of us. We have a great fan base. All of you guys are awesome. You guys stuck with me for until like three o'clock in the morning the other night. I had Dean waking up the next morning and saying good morning from Greece. I think that was one of the coolest things I think I've seen in all of my time of talking hockey and doing stuff like this. 
so th- this is this is awesome it's just it's great i love talking hockey i always look forward uh to this every week i mean and like mark said we're gonna do more than once a week thing and i have the availability to do it that may change in the future but we're going to make things happen regardless of whether it's just me on here or just Mark or just Anthony. I mean, it, it the name change, it's going to happen, but the channel ain't going to be any different. We're going to add new stuff. We're going to add fun stuff. We're going to add meetups. We're going to have – this is going to grow. It's going to be awesome, man, and I'm glad everybody is along for the ride. This thing's going to get bigger. It's going to get better, and you know what, Anthony – you know, we had that dream three years ago. I think we're closer to it now than we ever were at the previous time. Uh, that's yeah. actually interesting, Roman. I think we're going to do some game chats. Uh, Anthony, you go. Yes, we are, Roman. Okay, so, uh, so basically, um, I mean, what John said a, what John said a lot of it's very true. Um, you know, about yeah, in 2018, um, I knew a kid uh, who I went to high school with who who had like a, a morning show on the, on the radio station, me and John were involved. And, um, I guess, I don't know what, what big, there was some big event that happened with the Islanders and he, you know, he knew I was a big Islander fan and, you know, he was, he was like a football baseball guy. Um, so he had me come on and talk about it. And, um, you know, from there just kind of escalated a little bit to where I, I went on another show and, um, you know, John got wind of it and he called in and the guy that ran the station, you know, he said, Oh, he knows his stuff. And, you know, then that started happening a little bit more. And eventually we had our own show. And, you know, for me, um, and for John, it was like a dream come true. You know, we got to cover the draft in Dallas, you know, flying down there and that whole experience and, um, meeting uh, McDonough at the airport from the Blackhawks and, um, you know, just walk in the same halls, um, I was like Steve Eisenman backstage in a draft, saw him. Uh, it, it was just, it was great. And we had guests on, you know, Dennis Potvin came on our show and a lot of guys in hockey, Jamie McLennan. And, um, you know, it opened the door and, you know, we were really both excited. And unfortunately, um, you know, it didn't work out. We felt we were treated a little bit. And ever since then, there's, you know, there's been a void. Um, and then when I saw, that John was doing this with, with Mark, I, I kind of reached out to Mark and my time, he had no idea who, he was, who I was, but um, I explained to him about the show that me and John had. And, um, you know, he graciously let me come on. And, uh, you know, since then it kind of, you know, just spiraled in a good way. And, you know, here we are. So, um, you know, I know it's called all things Rangers, but I think the two gentlemen above me can agree that, you know, we're all hockey fans first and, talking hockey is, is what we love to do. And um, let's face it, to make it big and, you know, this business or anything, you had to be multifaceted. So um, it was inevitable to come to a point where we have to change a name because, you know, we want to be able to talk, you know, whether it be the National Predators or, you know, the Islanders, the Rangers, we want to be able to discuss everything. So um, I'm glad to be a part of this. And uh, as you guys can see, the last, you know, couple of weeks, we've had Dave Panyota on and um, today Marty Biron. So, um, for you guys out there, um, don't be skeptics. Uh, we have we have we have connections to to get these people on, and and uh, hopefully, um, you know, as things go forward, we can continue um, providing some uh, big names to come on with us. Uh, that's something that I could vow I'm going to strive to do and um, add good content. And you know, yeah, and listen, uh, I think we can only go in one direction from here, and hopefully, it's that's uh, you know keep going up. But um, I'm just. Uh, I'm just really uh, super happy and, and proud to be to be a part of this. And um, hey, listen, I know John. When we covered the draft in 2018, you know that was that was awesome. Um, but as you know, the world slowly starts get getting back to normal. I hope I hope next year the three of us can you know can be at the draft to wherever. I think they already said that's going to be Montreal. If I'm mistaken, but um, yes, nice. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we could be we could be in Montreal and, um, you know, hell, I mean, maybe we could even get credentialed to cover the all-star game in Vegas in February. I mean, that, you know, it's never, never know. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super happy where this is going. Well, again, by the way, uh, and welcome to the show, Gary. I'm uh, sorry, Barry. <laughs> welcome to the show, Barry. Well, first thing I, I do is I mess up a name anyway. Um, 
but yeah, no, also we're, we've been exposed to a bigger Ranger community. I already had all things Rangers going on since 2013, uh, right before the shortened season is when we started. And I was doing a hockey blog before that. And uh, we got up to about 18,000 followers. This is the format that I like better. It's a lot better than doing memes and having conversations. And at times I thought about giving up the page, especially when I was um, in my last relationship because she was just uh, she was just encouraging me that I don't have to post as much as I, I do. This is still much better. And again, it's 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 great to be on here to talk hockey. It's great to go on to to, to watch Warty and then put on a comment. And then everybody's going, oh, hi, all things Rangers. So it's. Yeah, um, that was that was me. Yeah, the, I, I literally I, I came in there and the first thing I said, what's up, all things Rangers in the house. And then immediately, I think Brody, Chris G was there. Um uh, yeah, Bucky, I, and a bunch of others were all there and saying hi and stuff. Ziga was there too. And he, never that we want to hijack their show either because no. they do they do good work and Stat Boy Steven has been on with us already twice. Um yeah. and we're gonna have we're gonna have more people, uh more guests coming along. And yeah, I, I want subscribers, I want to monetize, but uh it's everything within due time. But again. That's why we're doing this giveaway. And that's why we all want to say thank you. Which, by the way, actually, I got to throw that banner back up real quick because just in case if anybody forgets that we do have the Brian Leach puck, comment Leach below and um, uh, to be entered into the drawing. Um, that'll be happening probably within the next 15 minutes, guys, so you don't have to wait forever. And I, I also love when people leave and come back in, sort of like how Rich just did. So the funny part is I just put that back <laughs> up and you got to take it down again. Nice. All right. Uh, which one do you guys want to go next? I'll go. Okay. Um, oh, I thought I hit high ticker. Okay. High ticker. Ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, by the way, again, thank you. I don't have to tell you to put, the, put it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. All those little things that I always forget to say because I'm too busy doing an actual show. Here is my Philkin opinion. <laughs> Then there's no. I'm looking at you, Jim. I'm gonna hear the name and I'm gonna get PTSD. But the cream runs to the top for you. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.